I don't have to do this all in one go. I don't have to do it all in one day. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. Today, I am finally gonna start working on my Procrasta closet. So if you've got something around your house that you need to go through, maybe you've got something you've been procrastinating on, grab your stuff and come on and let's do it together. This is our coat closet. And as you can see, it is stuffed from the top all the way down to the bottom. And I have been putting this off ever since I started my decluttering journey. But the time has come and I can't put it off any longer. The first thing I did was take out all of the coats and jackets that were out of season or that were not wearing regularly at this point in time. So I kept a couple of jackets that we can wear if we go out and it's maybe sprinkling or raining. So I'm gonna leave those in here. And I'm also gonna leave my long coat because when we take walks, Right now it's winter, so I like to wear that one. So I'm just gonna slide these out of the way so that I can access the rest of this part of the closet a little bit easier. And next up, I'm gonna start focusing on this stuff that's down here in the floor, get that all cleared up. Maybe I can find a few things that I'm ready to let go of. I'm slowly working through all the things that were back there, but you can see I have made some little piles here. I've got some stuff that We'll go um, into the shred. I have some cards. These are Christmas, and then these are miscellaneous cards that have not been used. Some pictures. I do have pictures and cards in the upper part as well, so um, I'm just going to put things in stacks. This will go with our luggage that's in the closet here, and this card is really cute, so I'm thinking about putting it somewhere um, as a little happy. In this um, little folder, I have some cards that are from special people and they've either it's either a signature from somebody who's passed away or from someone and they've written something special i've also found this halloween mask randy bought this a few years ago and it is just kind of disintegrating i don't know if you can tell here in the bottom of the bag like you can see this stuff there it's kind of falling apart so i'm not even going to take it out I'm just going to go ahead and let that thing go. I opened up this bag and it has a bunch of cards. So I'm going to take a little break um, before I start feeling kind of overwhelmed. Because that can happen when you have a lot of little things to go through. At least for me. And paperwork, that's a lot of little stuff. Meanwhile, I'm going to put this right back where I found it. You know what? I don't have to do this all in one go. I don't have to do it all in one day. Uh, I think I'll pick this stuff up out of the floor, though, because it is kind of in the way. I took a little break. Then I brought this bag into my family room, and while I watched a show on TV, I sorted through the contents. I noticed there was another bag oh, of cards. <laughs> I'm going to grab that and go through that as well. Okay, we're making a little bit of progress. Be sure you let me know down in the comments what you are doing for your project today. What are you tidying up or cleaning out or decluttering? Um, this looks like it is our shampooer. <laughs> um, I have not used this in quite a while. I used it on the carpet that we had in here. This floor needs to be refinished, but we've not had that carpet for a while. But we do still have some carpet in the house, so I'm going to hang on to that but I don't think I need it taking up all this space. So I'm gonna put this downstairs in my basement. I'll find one of my old sheets and put that over it. That'll keep it from getting too dusty down there because it's not an item that I will use very often, um, but we're not quite ready to let it go yet. And um, I need to pull these things out. I'm not sure what goes with what. This, I don't know if this goes with that or if it goes with this sharp thing down here i'm not actually sure these things being in here is not a good idea because i don't pull them out i don't use them because they're hard to access and i forget i have them i need to put them where i will remember that i have them and actually use them this is a chair um, it's one of those ones that you can use it like a for a picnic or an outing or something We've never actually used it. Um, we didn't buy it. We want it in a, a raffle thing. I don't think it needs to stay in here either. Let me get down here and see if we can figure out what these things are. More cards. Um, 
not sure why that's in here. That can go in the recycling. Um, I don't know what that, that probably went with a hanger. So that doesn't need to stay. More tools for a sweeper. Um, does this even have anything in it? Um, it's empty. So I think it doesn't need to stay in here. I think it was one he bought for me, but I didn't use it. So I gave it to him. This one actually has CDs in it. I don't know what they are. And I know a lot of people are getting rid of their CDs and DVDs. But Randy's not ready for that yet. You know, I don't live in this house by myself. <laughs> so it's not all about me. When you live in a house with someone else, you have to consider what their wants and needs are as well. So um, just keep that in mind. This is also, it looks like it's empty as well. Oops, put over there. I'll give those to Randy. And then this one. Let's see if I can tell if this one is empty or has. Ugh, it's heavy. Ugh. Okay. Let's see if this one has stuff in it. Um, yes, this one has stuff in it. So put that one over there. Okay, so all of these things I'm going to put for Randy to deal with. These are going to go into the trash or recycle bin. This can go as a stack of cards. This can go in that pile over there. Um, that can go in the other closet. And this, I don't know, this just makes it smell good. So, let's see what we do with that. This looks like from a broken hanger. And this box is empty. <laughs> I did not keep that box. Did I keep that box just to tell me how to do something? I think. Um, I really don't think there's anything in here. Uh, nope, there's nothing in the box. Maybe I kept that so I would make sure I had the parts. Or that I would remember that the parts... When I found the these, th like I have this, and I remember finding that and going like, what did that go with? So maybe I kept it so I would recognize what these things went with. But you know what? I can take a picture. Here, let's just do it right here on the video. There you go. So I can see the parts, and then I can go down through here with this video. <laughs> um, I can put a little section of this, and I can have that, and it can tell me exactly what these parts are for. So just keep that in mind. If you're doing some decluttering around your house, you know, take a picture or take a video. <laughs> and then you can see what to do with it, and then... You can um, take the box. I might put something in this to declutter. But um, it's one of those kind that you can just easily break it down. And then just pop it into the recycling stuff. There you go. And look, look, there's a floor. And now I can finally, once I get this stuff out, I can go ahead and get this carpet out of here and clean up the floor underneath. So, oh, that'll be so cool. Now, the only things left in here, well, let's see, I have some pictures that have fallen down. Let me go ahead and put those with that pile. We'll go ahead and deal with that. And then let's move the coats over and let's take these things out. This is our luggage. My parents bought this for us when we got married. Um, so I think instead of keeping it here in the coat closet, which it is tucked out of the way, but I think um, I'm going to go ahead. There's a space in our coat, in our closet, in our bedroom that's cleared out. And I think I can put these things in there. And that means that this, this space in this floor can be cleared out. This goes with something. One of these two things. I think that's maybe the steamer thing. I'm not sure. Um, I'll look in a minute. And then suitcase and suitcase and this is the manual to go with that and I think this is my father-in-law's um pool stick cue stick is that what they call those um yeah I think that's his 
so I think I will put this also in our bedroom closet. It doesn't need to be in the coat closet. Now, look. Oh, making progress. So that's all cleared out. The floor is cleared out. Next up, we'll do this. But first, I'm going to clean up this mess that I have made in the floor all around me. Because I can't move. Well, I had totally forgotten about this vacuum cleaner attachment. <laughs> but it goes with this little vacuum cleaner. So I'm going to put it back here. And I'm going to start storing this vacuum cleaner in the coat closet. It has just had to sit around the house. It didn't have a, a spot. It didn't have room in a closet or anything. So this will be a good place for it. Um, it's not great on floors, but it is superb for doing my curtains. I'm getting cat hair off of curtains or a bedspread or something because I don't know if you can see it here, but you can adjust the suction to minimum. So it can go maximum or minimum. I do need to clean it, but it's fine. Um, but that's why I keep it. I don't use it for anything else, but I do have cats. As long as I have cats, I'll probably have that vacuum cleaner. So anyway, now that is what is going to be stored in that little space there probably. I'll get this carpet out later because I'll have to pull the carpet tacks out and everything. I'm not going to do that right now. I want to kind of get the rest of it done and then we can come back to that. Or I can come back to that. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> but I'm going to slide my coats on down that way for now. And I put the bag um, with the steamer, little handheld steamer thing, the attachments. I put those in here. Well, they, can, they go in this little tote bag that came with it. And I put those on a hanger to slide that down. And so now the next thing I'm going to do is see if I can take all of these, not the hanger, all of these things off of these hangers. I have two hangers here. Um, because these are, things are heavy and that way they don't break. But I have umbrellas, um, I have a scarf, I have some gloves and some mittens on here. And um, I never pull them out because it's not that easy. They were always stuck in there with all the coats and everything. So I'm going to use this shoe bag thing and put the items in here and see if maybe that will work out a little bit better. I think this is going to work out pretty good. So I have the mittens uh, and scarves and gloves and things on one side. I have the uh, umbrellas on the other side. So I'll know right where to go for the different types of things. And I also have a few more that are empty so I can add more in if I need to. Um, I have a little hanger back here. So I can add a couple of hangers um, for if we do have guests that come and they can be kind of out of the way. And then you can see I just have the coats that we are currently using. And then I can change it out with uh, as the weather starts getting warmer. I didn't have a strong hanger handy. So I used two hangers for my winter coat because it is pretty heavy. Um, and this is the hanger I had it on. And you might be able to tell it had so much weight it was pulling this um, hanger down. And it wouldn't have been long till it would have broken. So, and I think you, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like it's starting to come apart. So that is a tip that you might use. If you've got heavy things that you want to hang, grab two hangers instead of one. I have a few things that will go into the trash or the recycle bin and this um, vacuum cleaner attachment. I'm pretty sure I've already decluttered the vacuum cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. And then I have a few things here that I'm just putting into piles for right now because I still have things that are similar up in that top shelf. So let me know down in the comments if you did any decluttering or tidying up along with me. Till next time, happy decluttering. Bye. Positive procrastination. Why did I procrastinate? Perhaps I wasn't ready. Decision making, letting go. It made me feel unsteady. My muscles needed building up. I needed courage too. Not to mention confidence that I'd know what to do. I'm positive procrastination kept me rather busy, doing other things instead, not jumping in too quickly. Now, here I am, decluttering. I'm making up my mind, deciding keep or let it go with everything I find. What you doing, pumpkin?
You? Are you going to declutter some stuff? You? <laughs> this is going to be much more user-friendly.